In the middle of a traffic jam, Emile and his father Francois are having an argument because Emile didn't want to come and they're late because of him. Eventually Emile gets tired of his father scolding and leaves the car, so Francois goes after him. At that moment they notice an ambulance shaking while something screams inside before the windows break. Francois immediately drags Emile into hiding as the ambulance's doors are pushed open and a creature half bird half man comes out, landing on top of a car. Security officers rush to recapture the mutant, who struggles and yells at them, scaring everyone on the road. The mutant manages to throw the officers away from him and then runs away. Sometime later, Emile and Francois arrive at the hospital to see the doctor who is treating Emile's mother Lana, who is also mutating into an animal. It turns out that for the last two years, many people all over the country have suddenly started mutating into more animalistic forms, and most of the time they end up being very violent. Authorities are trying their best to catch them all and keep them in specialized institutions, where the mutants are kept calm with sedatives while they're studied, hoping to find a cure. Most people are scared of the mutants and want them to be locked up. Emil doesn't want to see his mother because he's become wary of her since she accidentally scratched his face, but Francois insists she's still family. The doctor explains a new and more advanced reception center has opened in the south and Lana should be transferred there, which Francois quickly accepts. He wants to move there with Emile so they can start a new life, away from the judgment of people who already knew Lana. When they enter Lana's room, Emile notices all the scratches on the walls and doesn't go too close. Francois does sit with her and talks to her believing it helps, but Emile doesn't think she can understand anything they say. Some weeks later, Emile, Francois, and their dog move to their new home by the forest. Soon Emile starts going to school and when the teacher introduces him to the class, Nina asks too many questions. Emile decides to lie and says his mother is dead before explaining his scar was caused by lightning. Later that night, a huge storm strikes the town. The power goes out, and Emile is woken up by the noise caused by the wind and the lightning. He goes to check the window and is startled by a creature looking into the house, but as soon as Francois brings back the power, the creature is gone. The next day, they receive an emergency call and rush to the local lake, where the police and the firemen have closed up the area. It turns out the storm has caused an ambulance to get off the road and crash into the lake, and when they see a cop retrieving the body of a creature, Francois fears the worst. This was the ambulance that was transporting all the mutants to the new center, and now half of them are dead while others have escaped. The cops hold down a desperate Francois as he yells for his wife, but Officer Julia assures him they haven't found Lana's body so she must be somewhere in the forest. Once they return home, Francois starts hanging some of their clothes on the trees around the house, hoping the smell will guide Lana to them. The next day during class, the gym teacher sends the class to play tug of war, and Emile's whole team immediately falls to the ground except for him. Surprisingly he's capable of pulling alone long enough for his teammates to rejoin him and win the match. Afterward everyone is impressed by Emile's strength and invites him to a party. However Emile is too busy inspecting his fingers and rushes back to his house, where he uses some tweezers to pull something from under his nails as he screams in pain. He's shocked to discover some small claws, meaning he's slowly starting to mutate as well. Then he checks his back in the mirror and notices the shape of his column is changing too. Furious, he throws things around the bathroom before getting in the tub to wash away the shame. His dog gets in the tub with him to comfort him. Meanwhile Francois goes to the mail and bumps into Julia, who informs him they aren't searching anymore because the government promised to send the military.